Welcome to Bioshock Infinite. In this game, you play as a depressed, middle-aged man sent to a floating city in the sky called Columbia in order to kidnap an innocent girl for the people you own money to so you can pay your debts. However, this is no easy task. The girl is Elizabeth, daughter of the guy that runs the city, Zachary Comstock. He calls himself a prophet and has created Columbia for people to practice racism and ultranationalism in peace and harmony. He goes to great lengths to keep Elizabeth safe for his future plans, so much that he isolates her in a tower for her entire life and has a gigantic mechanical bird fucking kill everyone that goes near her. Now if you're wondering how an entire city is able to fly, then the developers have a meticulous, well thought out answer for you. Quantum physics, baby. This is the oldest trick in the book. If you can't explain something, just say it's quantum physics. Columbia is a colorful, enticing city with beautiful houses and marvelous structures. There are many so-called skylines in the city with the purpose of moving cargo or people to different parts of the city fast. You can also use them to your advantage. If you're wondering how the main character can jump so high to get to these skylines, there is no answer for it in the game. It's probably quantum physics. The city is full of NPCs that look exactly the same. I think they used the same four models for the entire city's population. Very irrational decision if you ask me. Take this one for example. The first time you see her she's trying to sell some kind of drink to you. I'll explain what it is later. Not long after that, you see her at a raffle, offering you to pick one of the balls from her basket. And a few hours later you meet her again, but this time as an undercover agent trying to kidnap Elizabeth back. In order to gain access to Columbia, you have to solve this ingenious, big brain, mega intelligent puzzle. Look, this game was made for smart gamers, alright? So you need to be a higher level thinker to be able to solve this. You need to think outside the box. You can only carry two guns in Bioshock Infinite because this game is very realistic. But at the same time you can carry 200 enormous audio recorders. You know what? Maybe I'm just a simpleton. Maybe the devs have an explanation for this too. Maybe this also has something to do with quantum physics. You also have a device called the Skyhook at your disposal which you can use for transportation on the skylines. Or perform extremely brutal executions on your enemies. Remember the drink I was talking about earlier? Well, that's called a vigor. These stuff basically give people superpowers. Fuck you and this bullshit. But that's what this is, you know. Satanic black magic. Sick shit. There are different types of figures in Colombia. We have the Devil's Kiss, which gives you the ability to throw fireballs at people. The Shock Jockey, which gives you the ability to electrify the poor bastards. The fucking Bronco, which makes them float in the air without any defense. And many more. But be warned, every time you drink a new type of figure, it will completely fuck your genetic code. Humans aren't the only type of enemy you encounter. There are also motorized patriots and these giant bad boys called the handymen. Every fight with these lobotomized assholes is fucking obnoxious because of how poorly designed it is. They are bullet spongy and deal insane amounts of damage to you. There is just no strategy in fighting these guys. You can't take cover. You can't really run away from them because they're much faster than you. You can't even use the skylines properly because the handyman will electrocute them as soon as you jump on one of them. I don't care if they have a super tragic backstory. I fucking hate these guys. Oh my head hurts. I'm in so much pain. Shut up. I don't care. I don't fucking care. Looting is another important aspect of the game. There are many things you can loot such as food, money, ammo and lockpicks, which you give to Elizabeth to open locked doors for you. In an exceptionally short time, Elizabeth being a lockpicking demon isn't the only thing her character contributes to the gameplay. Yes. She can also find loot for you, but there's a flaw in this mechanic. The things she gives you are random. They aren't necessarily items you need at that moment. So sometimes when you're dying and desperately need a health item, she just gives you a coin or some shit. 
The last thing there is to talk about is the difficulty. Bioshock Infinite is piss poor easy, even on the hardest difficulty. Except for when you're fighting Handyman or this bitch. Fuck this bitch, by the way. Actually, in the remastered version, reading the subtitles is more difficult than anything else in the game because of how small they are. I mean, who's the target audience of this game, huh? Fucking Ant-Man? 